Um, okay, so here, so this is still demo. Uh, we need to wait until this weekend, as we usually do, to deploy these new features to your to each server, to each village server. Uh, but this, you, we will make available more templates um, to your villages, and we have been working on them. Basically, what we do is that we prepare some code that is ready for you to use in your websites. So. Um, um, basically, let me show you how I got here first. So basically, if you go admin settings, if you go under website tab, and then basically here you have web templates, okay? So if you go under web templates, you have the list of different web templates that are available. You can create your own also, so you can add some more here, clicking new web template, but then helpful is gonna make available some that are pre-packaged basically that you can use. And I'm gonna show them to you. Uh, basically, we're going to provide anybody, uh, everybody with a header and a footer. So the footer that we got looks like this. And you can obviously, um, you know, obviously change it with the name of your village, address, etc. You can remove some stuff. You can add some stuff. It doesn't need to look like this one. You can edit, you know, the templates any way you want. Um, but basically, try to give you some code that is easy to edit. And this will be more visible here on the header which when I was working on it, I was doing it for one of the villages. So this is the, so this is the logo of, um, of one of the villages. Obviously I will not use that logo, but basically what we will give you is uh, the code that allow you to put the logo in here, uh, the name and maybe background color, etc. So basically for each, each one of these templates, basically you can, when, once you receive it and it's there for you, you can come in here and then change, you know, if you want to replace the image and the logo, you can come here upload the logo for your own village and customize the, the email template so that it works for you. Uh, if you even want to modify the, the code, basically we will do some code that is smart on this side. So be careful when you're modifying that code, but you can, the code is open to you. So more power to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this is the header template. Let's, let's keep going. Um, because those are very simple. Now we are gonna get into things that are a little bit more complicated. You have a template. So it's starting, if you're starting a new page and you want your new page to have two columns with the same width of, or different width, you can start a new page and, uh, and apply one of these templates. I'm gonna show you this one, but these ones are gonna go fast. Yeah, so you have template with different width where basically you have a more dominant left column template width and then a right column that is like this. Uh, or you have this other template with the same width. So you can choose the style that you prefer. And if you choose these other same width, uh, basically, well, now they have the same width. Now, the other thing that I didn't say is that um, <laughs> you, you, you probably be thinking like, Manuel went crazy. I mean, we know how to do two columns. Uh, uh, and I know you know how to do two columns, but the, the magical thing about, about these new templates that we're doing, how do I see them, wait. Yeah, because the templates, obviously you don't see the template itself, but basically, bah. okay, stay with me for a second because I want to show you something. So here, right? So this was my template with two columns and some people would say, well, I can do this with a table, right? I put on the left, I put this thing and on the right, I put this other thing. Well, the problem is that tab tables are not very good for, for mobile, right? So if you look at the same page, how it would look on a mobile page, if you use a table, the table is not going to display right on your phone. But if you use the code that we're giving you, right? The code is smart enough so that if there is room for both columns, it's gonna display both columns. And if there's not enough room, because this is a simulation of an iPhone six, seven or eight, well then our columns will be smart enough to go one under the other. You see what I'm saying? So even if, if you think these templates are super basic, actually they are a little smarter than they, than, than, you know, than what one may think. And basically the template that we provide you, they, they work well on mobile, which is, um, which is important these days. Uh, okay, I, I showed this template, two column, different width, same width. Uh, there's another template that is pretty simple also, but um, we wanted to start with a simple template first is that you have the possibility to um, basically have some text on one side and then keep adding text here on your page and then go around one big page of your area here, Napa Valley, California, which is very nice. Um, so basically you can, copy this template to one of your pages, replace a picture here, say, okay, nice, but you know, that doesn't look like a, 
like like New Mexico. So we I'm going to upload a new picture. You can always come here and, and replace the pictures and text and everything. Um, okay, let's keep going. One thing on Manuel on this, this is a good reason mm -hmm. for these why you want to use the copy mm -hmm. rather than the include because you're yeah. going to take that and make your own exactly. customizations in exactly. this location. Exactly, that's a, a good point. Uh, yeah, for example, is what we. This is a good point. If you're changing whatever we're bringing and you're showing something that is unique to that page, you always want to copy, right? Because it's going to be different for each page. If you're using something that should be the same in all pages, like a footer or a header, this would be more of an include so that if you change your phone number, you don't need to change 20 pages, you just change it here. So it's a good point, right? Okay, let me keep going because we have kind of, kind of uh, got a number of these different graphic elements. Uh, we did this one, it is a template with one peak floated top right and text around it. <laughs> the language is a little bit complicated, but is 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 what you saw here for Napa. Okay, the next one is web element, uh, three columns with pictures. Now, yeah, I wanted to say a word about the the names, right? Because we were trying to do some sort of classification of each one of these web templates. Some of them are real templates, kind of full page templates, right? If you have a two column or three column, uh, I don't know, it's kind of how the whole page would work. And then some of these things, we call, we call them web elements which is kind of actually the same thing. It's actually HTML code that you can include, but it's something that are not necessarily the entire page. For example, here is a good example. It's a Facebook feed. Well, the Facebook feed is not the design for the whole page. It's something that you can include in some of your pages. We call them an element, would be kind of a, a smaller subset you can use in your page. Um, in the same way, you know, anytime at your, in, your, in your page, if you wanna add an element with three columns with pictures, you can add this other web element. Uh, if you go here, this one looks like this. And I think we, you had already seen this one where basically you have um, kind of a picture, uh, kind of a name and, um, and a description below. So this is kind of a good template that would apply if you wanna describe about your board members, your staff or something like that. This one is one that, that could apply. Um, same thing that I, I showed before, uh, this page is, is is adaptable to to the mobile version, so it will look good on 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 the web. Um, on the web. Uh, this one is a Facebook feed where basically you can include this web element, uh, and basically anywhere in your page you can add basically the Facebook feed with the activity that is showing on your Facebook page. You need to edit this one. Uh, here it says helpful village, but if you put the name of your village here, it will show your your own page. Uh, okay, we have more web elements. Uh, we have the Facebook feed we did. I added this one because this one is funny. It's a web element that is a PDF document with image. So basically what I did with this one is here. Just, just added an image of a PDF document because we get this question sometimes saying, oh, how can I attach a PDF document to my, to my page? And there's no such thing as attaching to a page. But basically what we will recommend people they do is that on their pages, they go insert and they insert this web element, which is a PDF document with an image. So it will show the image. And then basically here on the image, you just need to go to the link. And on the link, you need to change where is this pointing to. So basically what, where can I, you know, basically where does the page find the document? So you need to upload the document to your document library, and then you can add an image and that image is linking to the document. So basically the people on that page, when they click on that image that they will download the document. Uh, okay. Okay, now this the I have two more. It's a web element. It's a pick left, text right, uh, pick, te pick text, pick text. Um, so this is another uh, template that allows you to put basically a picture, a name, and then on the right hand side, uh, well, basically the bio uh, and description of the name of this person, right? Um, I'm gonna. So this is pick left, right? And then there was a text on the right. And there is another one, which is pick text, pick text, which looks like this. It looks like this. So there is a pick, some text, a pick, some text, right? So you can explore those options that are made available to you. And if you like them, as we said before, we would create a new page. By the way, that's um, maybe next, next thing I should do. If I can go now into admin settings, uh, editable pages. 
And now on editable pages, I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna create a new one. And then I here I have testing during webinar. And basically the way this works is that you choose here, this is the web editor, right? So first of all, one thing that I like doing here is show blocks. The show block shows you actually these dashed lines that are invisible, but it's kind of what is the structure of the page. So here we already have a P. Because uh, the next thing I wanted to do is do insert. And then from the insert, is here's where we do insert templates. And then here I choose the templates that I want, right? That are available on this other list that we saw before. And you can choose if you want to do include. Uh, or if you want to do co copy. So basically for the header, I want to do an include actually, because you know it's like, um, it's going to be the same for all pages. And I save. Okay, so now we have a header on this page. Oh shoot. I'm going to delete it, I think. I'm going to start over. Got stuck. Sorry. Can you try? <laughs> Manuel, uh, yes. Um, I haven't done much with the web, so this may be a dumb question, but hmm. uh, can you, if you choose that footer, is it automatically going to happen on all your pages or can no. you use it only on one page or choose to use it? You can use it on multiple pages, but you need to add it to each one of the pages you want to use it on. Okay. So, so basically I'm creating a new page and here I'm saying, well, I want to add the header here. And then I'm gonna add the footer here. Insert template. And then I'm gonna add the footer also with an include footer. And then I save. And now we have my page here where I have the header on the top, the footer at the bottom. And then I wanna come here and I'm gonna insert um, another template in the middle, which is a copy of well, wait, so we're saying a copy. Yeah, it's a copy of a template with two columns of the same width. Okay, and then I save this. So we have two columns here. And now here, let's say that um, I don't like this column. And then from this column, I wanna add in that spot another template, which is an include of the Facebook feed. And then I save, and then I say, it almost worked. <laughs> uh, so you see now it replaced the header here, right? And we have our left column. This for some reason, I was expecting it to come down here. So I had an issue. And then it added the, 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 footer, the header and the footer. Right, and then if we wanted to edit the code, we can edit this code here. So edit. It's gonna view. I like this view blocks is interesting because yeah, you see what happened here? I had this 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 web element Facebook feed didn't come into my right column here. I'm gonna try that again. Insert template. Uh, include uh, Facebook feed, save. Okay, now it worked. So it's on the right side. And then here I would need to delete this. Okay, so now we have the, our first last column that we can change. I wanted to change the text, but I forgot. And then on the right hand side, I added these other feed. I added it twice, right? Because the first time I didn't add it in the right spot. So it came down here and the right, the second time it came to the right spot. And then we have the footer. So you can compose with any of that. I wanted to show you some of the examples that we have been doing. I know Christina was helping me with, I mean, I was doing the code, but she was trying to apply these, these templates to different villages. And I think I'm happy to show you the website of uh, actually a new village is Foggy Bottom West End in, in uh, Village DC and this this page, Christina actually did it on her own. So she's not a programmer or a coder, etc. But just she went in and she was using adding the the, the templates in, in particular this template that was left peak, uh, right text or something like that, and then added a description for their board. So there's a person on their board with a 
a nice left picture and the description on the right, left picture, description on the right, etc. So, so yes, yeah, so I was quite happy to see that Christina, without being a developer, was able to use these web templates and then added the footer here. Now, um, I'm going to show you another thing about this template that is really important. Uh, is how it looks on the mobile phone. So I know it's a little small and you don't see it very well, but um, basically you can see here how basically the, the template that we're producing adapts to the fact that this is um, a small screen, right? So we put the name of, uh, I mean, the header they had, the leadership of the pictures. And basically what happens is we're not doing picture left and text right. We're doing picture on top and then the, the text under it because there is no room to the right. So. Um, you know, the whole magic of using these web templates is to make them look good um, both on the desktop version and on the mobile version. Uh, and this, this, this works much better than, you know, other tables where on table these things doesn't, don't come down. Okay, so that's one of the templates. I wanted to show you another one um, that I was working. I wanted to um, ask you what you think. And actually, uh, this is actually a page, a very nice page from Petaluma, I think. Marie Cruz is right. Uh, and I was kind of experimenting with it and I was adding two other elements and I wanted to ask you what you think. Because if you like those, I can also add them to, to, to the library of web templates. I added kind of this element here, which is, um, is some sort of quote. And, but basically the interesting thing here is that goes from, from the, you know, basically the whole page from left to right, right? And I did two of these elements. Most of the other elements that we have are always displaying here in the middle. Um, but basically, I wanted to experiment with giving more flexibility on graphics and basically have a full width element for a quote and a full width element where basically you can have a picture that you can choose and you can choose this text. Um, and basically, those, those elements uh, go beyond, basically expand the width of the page. So um, hopefully, if you like those, just let us know and then I, I can add them to the library of, uh, of web template. Uh, Manuel, uh -huh. I have a question. Yes. Are you going to have a template for adding a button? Uh huh. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yes, yes. Okay, because you know yeah. we we had to hire somebody to create buttons on our uh -huh. website. Yeah. No, definitely, a, I'll do that. This is a training article where we explain to how to add a uh, a button. If yeah. You yeah. It, you will find it on the help center as well. Okay. Yeah, but, he, but I think both, both things make sense. I think he, Chris is good that we have a training article about it, but I think also in the same way we added kind of how to add a document image linking to the document that we have kind of similar thing with um, which is a button that you can insert from the temp web, web elements and then you can you know change and customize and stuff. The other thing that I wanted to say that is really important is that you know, Helpful Village has these 16 modules, uh, you know, and then it's service request, membership management. The single hardest module to use is web editing. So is what we're, what you saw today. Why is that uh, the hardest? Well, the reason is, is because people look at the web page in different devices. They look in at them on the computer with a large screen. Sometimes they look it on the telephone and you need to write some code that works in both. So it's like, oh, if there is room, do this. And if there is no room, then do these other things. So, um, so most of the big companies, I mean, they have programmers doing you know, their websites because they wanna be super precise on this code to, at the super logic. So if you find it a little bit complicated or hard to use the page and stuff like that, I wanted to tell you that it is a hard topic. It's, it's hard on Helpful Village and it's hard on any other thing. Some other platforms may seem easier at the beginning, but you go nuts because you don't see the code. And, and sometimes, you know, it looks easy to do one or two things, but, but they lose their, I mean, they, I, mean it, I mean, just website editing is, 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 is not, it's not an obvious task. I think it's easy to do an easy or simple page, which by the way, I think are also more efficient towards your audience, members, volunteers, or donors, etc. Sometimes an easy design is just easier to read than if, when you have stuff flashing and moving all around. Um, so I think, yeah, if you have a simple, nice web template um, that works well. Um, we're approaching the end of the hour, um, but basically what I wanted to say is that we will make this available on the server on Saturday, Sunday. If you have some other ideas, for example, this is a, 
webin you know templates also came from some conversations with uh, well basically with this village saying well you know we would like to have something that looked like this and so we can add other web templates so let us know if you have other you know ideas or something that would be useful useful for your pages and we may add them to the library for next month um, and then the other thing that I wanted to say is that we have another B2B webinar next, next week. Um, so we have more time also to, to apply this um, and, and, and play with this uh, together. So Manuel, this is Carol in Oregon. Are we gonna have the ability to use these types of elements and templates in um, mail messenger so that we can yeah. create, yeah. Is, it there, is it coming with this? Yes. Update. Yes. 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 It, it comes together. It's already there. So let me show you. This is demo, email, um, and now if you create a new email message here, uh, basically here the editor already has the web templates here in the same way. Okay. Wonderful. Now yeah. you probably want to be a little careful, probably because. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, because. When you send an email, right, there is not, you kind of, you can uh, do includes, right? Because it's different things. Like, so, so you just, it copies the code. The, the code of the email needs to be inside the email, right? So, um, so, so I was wondering if we had the copy and include and we don't, which is the right thing to do. We just only have include. So basically here, if you want to create your email and you add your, basically the first thing I would do is that here, if I want to add the header here, you will be able to do this, insert, insert template, not the footer, header, and then save. And then if you wanna add the footer there, um, insert, uh, insert template, footer, save. And then if you want to add the other ones too, the same thing, insert, uh, insert template, uh, three columns with pictures. Now let me add this one. Pick left, pick right. Boom. Okay, add it here. And then here you can change the image. Oh, basically, wait, save. And now your email looks like this. Uh, and then basically you can come here and replace the image with the image you want, right? And then you can come here and say, uh, we are, <laughs> And this person, uh, change this text to whatever you need in your email. We are tired of seeing Manuel. Manuel? Mom. <laughs> yes. Manuel, can these, uh, can these templates be cloned? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. It's a good question. You can clone them and leave the originals that we give you there and then have your own and play with them. That's, that's, that works perfectly fine. It's a good question. Perfect.